New year, new me. Okay, maybe not. So last night was New Year's Eve and I partied really hard. I edited my year in um, year rewind video, which took so much freaking work, man. I mean, I was happy to do it and I was glad to do it, but about halfway through the year, I was like, I'm never doing this again. Ah. Compilation videos are the worst. I gotta tell you, before I, um, was a youtuber i actually used to think that compilation videos were kind of cheating because you're using footage you already have you're using footage everyone's already seen um but it is infinitely harder than making a new video from scratch Whew. infinitely harder so i can't believe i used to think that that was like ducking out and oh you're just reusing old no I was dumb. I'm still dumb on some stuff. Ugh. Okay, so I <laughs> um, cleaned my house and I was like scheduling videos and editing thumbnails and stuff like that. Um, and it was, it was a pretty good night. By midnight, I was um, in bed reading, <laughs> um, which is not the party, party lifestyle. But partier but I find I have a little bit of a superstition that I like how you start the new year has some influence over how your year is going to go so I wanted to start the year like being on top of things and relaxing and not stressing at all so I spent the day kind of cleaning my house I did not want to start the new year with any dishes in the sink um, I started the new year with videos planned and scheduled out for the upcoming week and I was just kind of relaxing and I, uh, it was fun. It was a lot of fun and I had my We Run video come out at midnight. I didn't check the views or anything until the next morning but y'all seemed to like it. So, um, today is New Year's and um, town's still pretty much shut down but I am heading out for a minute to do a little shopping for my first sponsored video. What? I've done collaborations with companies before where they sent me a product uh, and I um, did an honest review um, for them in a video, but it didn't get paid any actual money for this video. I'm getting paid actual money, which is awesome because that's going to go towards debt. Um, I also don't have an ethical problem with sponsored videos as long as I'm still doing something cool and I'm still teaching people something. I am not a huge fan of sponsored videos where a person's just like, this is the thing, someone's paying me to sell. Um, but this company is really cool and you'll see it soon, but they are, um, they want me to basically do a project that will inspire you guys and that you guys, you guys will benefit from and that's gonna benefit my life too. And I get to do that and I get to get paid for it. And it's a cool company. So that's really neat. I'll never do sponsored videos of companies that I don't agree with the ethics of. You'll never see uh, the Five Frugal Things series sponsored by Discover on my channel. And I'll never um, back something that I don't agree with. Uh, but I don't have a problem doing if a cool company that I agree with the ethics of reaches out to me and they want to pay me to do something cool and teach you guys something and do something that you guys are going to enjoy. I'm all about that and it's money to debt. So I'm really excited about this and I've been excited about this for about a week. <laughs> um, I think you're really going to love it. I really do. This is another reason why I don't do no spins anymore because sometimes you just find the deal of a century and you need to jump on it. So I want to know you guys' first non- like grocery bill purchase of the year. We're gonna make this a thing. This is mine. Today is January 1st and I just bought a pair of slippers. Uh, you guys saw how excited I was when I got slippers for Christmas in a previous video. I was dancing around acting a fool and uh, normally I just get a new pair of slippers every year and by December they're completely dead like I had been walking on like the plastic cross hatching and it was hurting my feet and so I decided to be smart this year and if I saw a set of clearance slippers after Christmas I was going to buy them and hide them from myself so when my ones that I got for Christmas this year start to give out I can replace them 
So I uh, just went into a store shopping uh, for not slippers, but they had these deer foam, really soft, nice slippers. Um, original price twenty eight dollars. They had them on after clearance or after Christmas half off sale so down to $14 and when I got to the register I just and I almost always do this say hey do y'all have any other like coupons or uh, clearance codes or anything like that that I could maybe apply to this and the lady was really nice she's like yeah we actually have a 50% off clearance coupon on our website do you have your phone with you and so I pulled up the their website and I she scanned the code and I got these suckers for $7.50 so I my first purchase of the new year total frugal win I think seven fifty for slippers which is actually way less than I paid for the slippers I got for Christmas I think they were thirteen dollars twelve or thirteen dollars um, so yeah awesome and I won't be on um, my feet won't be miserable by next Christmas I'll uh, I I needed two pairs of slippers to get through the year I have two pairs of slippers to get through the year and I thought about it I was like I can just wait till I'm debt free for this purchase and I was like. But I'm debt free. They aren't going to be on sale for seven fifty. So I'm glad I went ahead and got them. Let me know what your first purchase of the year was. I think the universe is rewarding me for exercising. I um, just kind of took a little break from work, and everything's closed today in Maine because it's the day after New Year's. And while walking this thing, I just found ten dollars on the street, two fives, and it was just. It was just on the ground back there. This business is closed. There, It's all homes and stuff here. There's no one around. There's no responsible way that I could get the money back to whoever it belongs to. It must have just been somebody walking down the street and it fell out of their pocket. So, to debt. Thank you, universe. And I hope whoever lost it didn't really, really need it. So, so I'm going to Zumba class. Um, I have decided to pay for the whole month all at once to save a little bit of money. Of course, that only works if I actually go to all the classes. So I have told myself if I make it to eight of the nine classes this month, because there's an extra Tuesday and the class is held on Tuesdays and Thursdays, um, I will let myself get a new pair of like workout pants because Old Navy's had a bunch on sale and I don't really need them, but I have some that are getting kind of big and gross and it'd be nice to have a new pair for the rest of the winter so I mean I'll spend like ten dollars or less on that so that's a fun motivator also the saving a little bit of money because I allocated this year $25 a month for personal fitness and all that's going to this Zumba class um, it's ch super cheap Zumba class um, it's not held at like a real gym or anything so you'd never be able to get two classes a week for <laughs> $25 a month at a real gym this is actually held in a classroom at a local school um, by moms and like uh, substitute teachers and just people that want to work out and have their days kind of free. I only get to take it because I know one of the ladies and on Tuesdays and Thursdays I can take off at 3.30 if I want. On Tuesdays only if I get my newspaper done in time. My deadline is at 4 so I have to actively work to get the newspaper out at least an hour early so I can go take this class. I'm also usually exhausted on Tuesday because I've been up all night putting the paper together. So, um, but yeah, I'm making the commitment. I'm cutting the check. It's um, it's either 25 a month or four dollars per class. Um, and though so far I've been doing four dollars per class, and if my paper came out, you know, not late, but if it took me longer, I, I just didn't have to pay for a class I didn't take. So, I'm making I'm making the commitment. I'm making the jump. What kind of exercises? are um, you guys doing? Do you take any classes or anything like that? I, mean, I walk with Rory, but I really enjoy Zumba sometimes, unless she's attempting to murder us, um, like she did last Thursday. Today is Tuesday, and I am only now not sore. I was sore all weekend. Every time I sat down and got up, my thighs hurt so bad, and I did like an inner curse of Jerusha, because that is my instructor's name, and she was just, like some people say Dave Ramsey, I was cursing her. Cursing her! This is what we do in the mornings. Here, under a blanket, check the YouTube comments, and lately watch Project Runway. I had breakfast. Rory is not ready to face the day. We should know we aren't.
So I'm feeling really, really nerdy today. I haven't been spending a lot of money. I mean, it's we're in the first week of the year, but I'm so excited <laughs> about my 2017 Scorched Earth budget. I've been kind of looking for any opportunity to go in and like log stuff and uh, get closer to my goal. I certainly don't want to like wish my life away. Um, but I am looking forward to seeing exactly how much I can put to my death this month and see if this budget is workable, which I really think it is. So I got my water bill in the mail yesterday. Now it is high. It's $42.50, which is higher than it has ever been. Um, but that is because I had my family over uh, for a few days at Christmas. And so that was like triple the number of showers and and it was Christmas we just we were watering stuff so uh, I had the car and <laughs> so I'm gonna go pay it even though it's not due until the 20th uh, to just get it out of the way and to um, get to log something else in my budget I'm so weird <laughs> Normally, I would just uh, go pay it like while I'm kind of out and about. I, like I'll stick it in my purse and just kind of do it as I'm zipping through on the way, doing other stuff, having a couple minutes. But now works too. <laughs> I'm a little weird. It's cold today. Pay him a little bit. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Where's Rory? There she is. Here's your puppy. Here's your puppy tail. I don't know why this is what she likes to do. What it is. She squeezes under my leg until I have to just prop it up. Because it's uncomfortable for me to do that, but not her. And she cuddles. This is just terrifying. What is this for? It's just, it's just got a bird face. What, what could you possibly do with that? <laughs> 